we spent time doing all of the seacocks and the through holes aboard Blossom. Back exactly where it, where it is now. Another thing that's in is the drain plug. As well as receiving our solar panels, thanks to an anonymous donor. We're actually going to build a hard top for these solar panels. And thank you so much to Mantis Anchor for sponsoring us. Uh, they sent us an anchor. We're going to document how we're going to put the anchor on the boat, how we're going to set it all up in order to work properly for the boat. Granted, we do have a windlass on this little 25 footer, which we're just going to test out just to see, you know, how it works. Uh, the mud is pretty sticky here in Florida, um, so that's why we decided to, to have a windlass was for the Florida mud. And now it is time to paint Blossom. decide on a name for the boat. We thought sea cork or cork, but it wasn't until after we painted her that we realized her real name. <laughs> what? You guys are fan. I like you guys in my picture. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's so orange, oh my god. And hence wow. the name Blossom, like an orange blossom. Now to just put all the jewelry on, like the rub rail. That'll straighten out that rub rail line. And paint the boot stripe down low. Put the chain plates on. really good. I love it. I said we paid the turtle orange. No. We started putting on the chain plates but we realized that the cap rail was actually a little bit wider and bigger than the old cap rail, hence making it impossible for us to put anything where the chain plates were, so we knew we had to extend them in order for it to work. We were planning on making her a dead eye rig. I moved forward on the plumbing of the boat. Good morning. So next phase of all this is we had to drill the water fill hose. So I had to run a hose through the bed there, through the cabinetry, and up to the thing on deck. So. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm going to spend the morning vacuuming. That light got damaged from Pete drilling. He knew where the light was. The drill bit slipped and just whoop, went right over top of this thing. Totally just broke it. Oh, look at this fun stuff while, while plumbing on a boat. So I have a hose that is going to be running from the water fill and Pete drilled these holes for me runs down runs under the bunk goes around under there and to the water fill on the water tank well my issue is is I am in a tiny little cubby hole crunched up in the forward foc'sle bed 
V-bunk area of this little tiny 25-foot sailboat. And I need to put a hose on that water fill in that little corner over there. And this hose doesn't want to go on because it sucks. It's not the right, it's the right size, but it's not the right size. You have to heat it up first in order to make it work. But at least I was smart enough and I put the hose clamp on first. Because imagine trying to get a hose clamp started in this tiny little corner where you can barely fit two arms in, much less your head being able to see doing this stuff blindly. Not to mention all the electric I had to do blindly, but I'm gonna clean that all up in a minute. But anyways, I drilled a hole under here. I actually drilled it from this direction. And that's for the hose to go to this guy. All right, now I gotta switch phases here. I am going to do some electric. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this light stuff. Um, fix all these switches. I got some lights in the engine room I need to figure out and I got to fix that one light. So I'm going to do that and then keep moving forward. That's all I can do. This is just a quick save the truck from rusting. I'll know the epoxy and then I'll come back, sand it, put a little glass over the, on the spot, see it, so it doesn't just fall Pop out off. of there. Yeah. Although this epoxy holds a lot better than polyester. Pete's fixing his rust. Rust bucket. Rust never sleeps. He's fixing all the rust on the on the truck. Took off the hood. The radiator blew, so we're putting a new radiator in this guy. Yeah. Truck's doing good though. A little bit of rust here and there, but needs some repairing always. Pete's a good man. Get an air blower on that and mix up some Okay, let me just turn on the LEDs. Nice. Oh yeah, there's the lights for the engine room on. Awesome, and I put the little switch right here. And then the lights back there. craft and why the sea craft is sort of what we're doing with this so those have been following along on on everything we brought Norna our our wooden sailboat up to Maine uh, we had done that to repair her roof her her decks were leaking uh, so we needed a barn to put her up there and it was better for the boat um, better for us uh, but the only thing was, when we came back down to Florida, there was nowhere for us to live except our Volkswagen bus. So we found this 25-foot Pacific Seacraft. It was totally and completely gutted. So our decision with it was we were going to document pretty much all of the work that we do to the boat, not only just to show the work that we do uh, for Pete's business, uh, Paper Sailor Incorporated or Grunvig Woodworks, 
um, just to show, you know, like all the work that we do to boats and as well as, you know, just s some of the fun things that we do as well. I mean, a lot, we didn't keep like the, uh, the traditional locker that goes on the boat. We actually made a full countertop, you know, just different things just to switch it up as well. I had heard of uh, some companies that actually only build out one side of a boat, so they like leave the boat completely gutted on one side with nothing done to it, and then the other side completely finished. <laughs> but we're planning on living on this boat. This will be our boat for Florida, so we're going to. Ha it's on a trailer, which is nice. So hopefully next winter, we're definitely hoping next winter to launch. Blossom is the name of the boat. Yeah, launch it and live on it. It probably won't have a mast, uh, but we're going to try to get all of the parts and pieces mounted on deck, ready for a mast. So yeah, that's kind of the story, the backstory of everything. I think a lot of people had some questions about it. and I'm just going to tag this, this to the end of the video for people who were curious that had asked this question because I did want to kind of like answer that. And I haven't I haven't uh, sat down and actually like communicated with you guys in a while because I've been so busy with the boat and uh, busy working. We're trying to build up the cruising kitty. That way next summer when we go up to Norna, we can sail her around again. I'm not sure how good this video is going to come out because I'm filming this on my Mac. Uh, it's not on my iPhone. I've been filming with my iPhone thanks to my dad. So many people who have helped us along the way. Uh, we truly, truly appreciate everybody for all the help and for all the good comments and all the viewership. So I hope you guys enjoy this series of season six, which is Life Back Aboard. Um, right now we're not on the Seacraft, but we are going to be going back aboard the Seacraft. Uh, that'll be soon. I'm actually um, going to be ordering foam for the beds, and once we get everything mounted on deck, uh, then we can move aboard because then we can start putting up everything, all of the headboards and everything and the trim and yeah, I'm excited. I hope you guys have a good day and thank you guys for watching and subscribing and viewing and sharing and doing all the things that, uh, that help out and thank you to our patrons, to our, to any of the donors, to anybody who has helped us even with a place to stay. Thank you so much for everything, for all your help. We could not have done it without you guys. Right. Have a good day.